Arc and Brave are two very different browsers, yet both have earned a spot in my list of favorites. Spoiler alert though, one of them might have to give it up pretty soon. Anyway, in this Arc vs Brave comparison, I'll show you exactly how these two stand out, what they do best, and where they could use a little bit of polish. I know some of you tend to overlook browser privacy, but it is important. You don't want a browser that leeches off your personal data. Well, at least I know I don't. That's not going to happen with either of these browsers. But the way they handle privacy is a little bit different. If you're after a privacy-first browser, Brave is your best bet. It's built on Chromium, but they stripped out all the interactions with Google servers, so your data stays yours. Plus, they don't collect any data themselves, and when they sync Brave between different devices, it all gets encrypted. On top of that, Brave packs a bunch of extra tools for added privacy and security. For instance, it blocks most ads right out of the box. Well, it can be a little bit hit or miss on PC, but at least it still works great on mobile. That is exactly why I mostly watch YouTube now through the Brave browser app. Brave also handles trackers, masks your device to prevent fingerprinting, blocks potential harmful scripts, and upgrades your connection automatically to HTTPS wherever possible. All of these things help not just with privacy, but with the security of your device too, especially when it comes to malware. That said, if you participate in the Brave Rewards program, it does involve some data collection to deliver targeted ads. You get payouts for viewing, but they're in Brave cryptocurrency and very small. So personally, I don't think it's worth it. Thankfully, it's entirely optional. Now, if we do a quick Arc browser review, it's not bad either. Like Brave, Arc is a Chromium browser at its core, but it's not tied to Google, so they're not selling your data and can be considered a private browser. That said, Arc did have a pretty big security hiccup. An independent researcher found a flaw that could have let threat actors access anyone's browser just by knowing their user ID. This was quickly patched up and, well, it didn't actually cause any damage, but still. This is a pretty big mistake on Arc's part, there is no denying that. Also, when I first started using Arc, it came with uBlock already set up, which was awesome, until it stopped working. <laughs> Recently, I haven't seen it block a single video ad. They promised native ad blocker, but well, no updates yet. And I'm not sure if the update will ever come. Arc's creators, the browser company, announced they're shifting their focus to a new AI-driven product, aka Project Dia. Everyone is jumping onto the AI train now. Anyway, this means that Arc is officially in maintenance mode. Apparently, they'll keep fixing bugs and doing stability updates, but big improvements, like privacy features, aren't really on the table right now. Given that Arc is pretty new, this seems so weird to me. What, did they just get bored and decide to abandon ship? Well, at least they didn't abandon the project entirely. They're just not making huge updates anymore. Anyway, if you want privacy and consistent privacy feature updates, Brave is a clear choice here. But if we compare Brave versus Arc in terms of customization, Arc is just on another level. This is what initially caught my attention. Arc offers more flexibility and personalization compared to Brave. If you set aside some time to set things up, you can make it look like your own personal space. It is super convenient, from choosing any color to pinning or hiding stuff in the sidebar. I also like Arc's folders. They're basically like regular PC ones, but for browsing, I can expand or collapse and drag and drop tabs. The folders can also be categorized based on projects, topics, or well, literally anything you want. Like, Sort them according to vibes, if you wish. You can go even further and create spaces, aka organize tabs into a themed group for management and focus. Each space has its own set of tabs, pinned sides, and I like to apply custom themes to them so I don't mix up my work and personal accounts by accident. The spaces worked really well for me until one day they just are gone. Everything was gone all my bookmarks and customizations. This happened only once though, so I presume they fixed this bug already, but still, it was a little frustrating. Anyway, there's also a pretty cool split feature that splits the browser screen into two, so I can view two tabs at the same time. I also found this cool auto archive thingy in the settings. You can set it up to close all unpinned tabs after a selected period of time. Actually saved my ass when I was gift shopping for my partner. I forgot to close some windows, but well, they were gone by the time she emptied my PC. Now, if all of this sounds a little bit too overwhelming for you, you can go and chill with the Brave browser. Don't get me wrong, 
it's not bare bones. You get some nice options like custom background themes and fonts. It's also a night mode, a vertical sidebar and vertical tabs too, if you want to make Brave look a little bit like art. This is more than enough for everyday use, but if you want to go all in into productivity, Arc is a bit more suited for it. All right, so with all this stuff in mind, how much of your CPU will these two best browser picks eat up? Well, it depends. All browsers will perform slower or faster depending on several factors, from your PC specs to the amount of tabs you have open or the number of extensions you've stuffed into your poor browser. Plus, keep in mind that these two browsers are based on Chromium and it's known for taking up quite a bit of RAM. While you can't exactly measure and compare Arc versus Brave performance, I did notice a few tendencies while using them. For one, Brave became slower when I turned on Brave Sync. Not unbearably slow, but I still felt the disturbances in the force. On the other hand, Arc tended to dramatically increase my CPU usage when I had more than three tabs open. My PC can handle it, but still not cool, especially if you have like an older device or something. So in terms of Arc versus Brave browser performance matchup, I'm leaning more towards Brave. And now it's time to crown the best browser. Well, if you're looking for more privacy and consistency, go with Brave. It's been a reliable browser for a while, and it looks like it's going to stay this way. As for Arc, if you want to try out tons of customization options, give it a go. But since its future is now unclear, I'd recommend trying Vivaldi instead. It's another great browser that you can personalize the absolute shit out of. And I have Vivaldi and Brave comparison videos on the channel too, so check it out. Thanks for sticking around till the end of this Arc browser versus Brave comparison, and for that, you get a cat cameo. This is Mittens. Say hi to Mittens. Subscribe for Mittens. And now, say goodbye to Mittens. Bye.